All along this part of the border, there are sites like this. Even though it's been clear for three days that the border with Europe will not be opened, they still come just in case. Just we need a peace. We need something to survive. We need a life. We need our kids to grow up to good life, to good future. The man doesn't want to be identified. It's often the way. They fear reprisals from the regime they fled. They're from Syria. We follow them around the corner. Like everyone here, they are confused, not entirely sure where to go. Through a tunnel, a villager ahead is offering them another lift, closer to the border. They're still full of hope that crossing is possible. And so, on another truck, they move on. Not far away, a group have given up. They arrived a few days ago and now realize that crossing is unlikely. I'll go back home, the boy says, and back to school. And that's the thing. Many of them here are migrants who had actually begun to settle in Turkey, but dropped everything when they were told the border was open, thinking Europe would be better. Down the road, two men from Iran. They told us they'd managed to cross to Greece yesterday, but then they claimed they were hit by Greek border guards and had their phones taken. They were sent back to Turkey. At the official border crossing, a team from the Turkish government had arrived, among them a senior advisor to Turkish President Erdogan. The government here is very angry. They feel the EU is not sharing their burden of migrants. Tell your government to open the gate. Sorry? Go. Tell your government, open the gate. But you brought them here. Yeah. You've duped them here. You, you should open the gate and they go wherever they like. And they reject any suggestion that they have created this crisis. Turkey brought these people here. No? Tell your government. Ask them, open the gate. Turkey government and the Greece government, they are playing with us such as a football game. They are passing us to right, left. 22-year-old Omid Mohammadi is from Afghanistan. So we escaped from there to here to go to Europe to get a better life, to, to get education, to such, uh, live such a human beings. But we now, now we are here. Uh, I don't know what to do. We are not having the chance to go back or to forward. Flying above all this on the Greek side of the border, the European Union's leadership. They took an aerial tour of the EU frontier at a new moment of crisis for Greece and for them. On the ground, they took no questions and placed the blame for this with Turkey. That migrants and refugees cannot be used as instruments, as pawns in a geopolitical game they are the true victims of these types of policies, and this is an approach that cannot be deemed acceptable. The problem is that no one feels they can take this burden. They can't agree to share it. Mark Stone, Sky News on the Greece-Turkey border.